Here we are with the Rawhide Adventures Long Way Back Gear and Bike Review. Had a good time, a little bit chilly though in January, so we had to bulk up with the heated gear. Starting off with the Hippo Hands. Hippo Hands are awesome. Much recommend them. They do come with a inside Velcro piece that goes on the inside of this part right here. However, I did not use that due to I like my Storm Bark Busters nice and shiny. Well, maybe not so shiny there. Nice little cockpit view here. This knob and this knob are both for my heated gear, which comes out right down. Here, attached on with the extensions. Going back to the cockpit, here is our very technical ABS off switch. Goodbye ABS on the Tenaria, real simple modification to do. Going over to the right side, throttle side, hand grip. Two simple buttons for fog. And my nice squadrons get out of my way, let me make the night. A day. Going on down into the cockpit here, the stock Yamaha OEM heated grips worked out very well. I did use some electrical tape on the clutch side to help keep that heat away from the bar and into my hand. Worked out very, very well. Then obviously we have the Tortec Garmin 665 GPS mount along with the WASP adjustable bracket. Winglets, XM stereo, extensions, and the Kyoka, or however you say it, throttle lock right there. It's an okay mod. It's good for if you're going directly across the interstate, but uh, you gotta be careful because sometimes it will get locked back into place, which is not very much fun. Going on back, Tanks GS Bag Quick Connect, the first generation of this with the lock on there. Bought this used off of someone on a forum, and then of course I tried to call to get it electrified, and they wanted me to send a picture and a receipt of me buying this bag from this person, so I just told them to go have a good day by themselves, and I instead installed the Powerlet bag power kit which works out very well and it also gives you a very nice quick SAE adapter. Going on down, the Alt Rider crash bars as you can see worked out very well. I did have some highway pegs put on there. I think I'm going to take them off. They didn't do as good or as useful as I wanted them to be. Going on to the front as you saw in the beginning of the video, we're looking at double fog lights here. One, two, which worked very well to light up the night right in front of me. And then the squadrons right up front, so that way I can see any deer right before I hit them. Moving along to cases, we have the G the Jivy E55 case. I like this top case especially for touring. However, I think if it would have been some, if it would have been along with me for the off-road portion of it, I don't know if it still would have been on there because of the polymer. And I fear this plastic would have just broke right off there. I do have it electrified to have lights here and here for braking, turning, and all that other good stuff. Nice, large area. I like the document holder. Everything fit in there well, as you can see. My junk is still in there because I just kind of threw everything in there and on my way home. Very, very easy on and off. Um, overall good product. Like I said, I do worry about how it would do with some oop de oops or what have you. Going on to the Trex side panniers. 37 or 38 and 45, one side versus the other one. These things are very nice. They worked out pretty well. I really didn't have too much issue with them. 
as you can see here, well, maybe not there. Plenty of clearance for when they lift up and close. One side we had rain suit, stove, food, gear. Cigars were down there one time. The other side I really just kind of had open here. This side, this is the 45 side. And it does clear. I need to push it off the side there, not really a big deal. Plenty of room in there for plenty of whatnot and who's it. So I have my laptop in here. I have a pretty thin laptop. We didn't have any problems with that. Worked out pretty well overall. With these, I did add the Tour Tech mounts here. One side, an extra gallon of fuel, which did come in handy once or twice and had to, of course, save some BMWs, which ran out of gas as usual. Then the other side, some fuel canisters.